Uh, this time we're adding a more complicated set of vectors. We're going 10 centimeters north, 8 centimeters at 30 degrees west of south, 10 east, 12 centimeters at 45 degrees south of west. So this is a little bit more complicated in that these vectors have angles. We're not just going north and south anymore. So uh, we're going to do just like what we did before. So if this is vector A, this is vector B, this is vector C, and this is vector D, we are looking for the resultant of vector A plus vector B plus vector C plus vector D. We're looking for the resultant of all that. That's what we're after. And so we're going to do this one by drawing out each of those vectors. So to do that we will need our protractor as well as a ruler with the same centimeter squares that are on the paper. So uh, the first one, 10 centimeters north, a fairly simple one to draw. And then from there, we're going to start here and go 8 centimeters at 30 degrees west of south. So if we take our protractor and, and put the center of the protractor right at the end of the last vector, we have this 180 degrees pointing directly south, so we're going to count up 30 degrees to the west because we're moving west of south. So 10, 20, 30. So our vector is going to move from here to here in this direction, which is the correct angle, 30 degrees west of south. So take our ruler, put it on there. We're going 8 centimeters. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight centimeters at 30 degrees west of south. From there, we're going to go 10 centimeters east, which, and again, there's nothing crazy about this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That looks like it's just below over here, so we're going to try to keep it the same. And then from there, we're going to go 12 centimeters at 45 degrees south of west. So again, line this thing up right on the very end of our last vector. And this time we're going south of west, so we're going to start west, and we're going to move south. So starting at dead west, we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40. I did that backwards. Starting west, we're going to go... 45 centimeters. So starting at west, we're going to move south 45 degrees. And we're going to go 12 centimeters in that direction. So starting at the tip of that arrow, moving through the dot that we put for our protractor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's the end. So draw that in there. Draw it in all the way. And that's where we ended. So to get our resultant again, just like we did last time, we're going to start at the very beginning and draw a line from our very beginning to our very end. Uh, that blue line is going to be our resultant vector, r. Now, because we're doing this graphically, we're going to measure r and it appears that r is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 centimeters long. And in order for it to be a vector, we're going to need to have an angle. Now, you're going to be tempted to try to find this angle, but that doesn't tell us anything important about our vector. Um, what we want is the angle that tells me where to aim myself when I start. So, for our vector, put that at the very start. And don't line it up to any of the vectors that we draw, drew, just line it up to west, east, north, south. So for our vector, 90 degrees is pointing dead south, so we're going to start there. And we notice that for our vector we go 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we went 24 degrees, and that one was moving west of south. 
and again, you could have done the exact same thing, gotten the exact same line by starting off all the way west and counting 66, 66 degrees south of west. Both of those give you the same resultant vector. That's what we just did.